Justin Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Nice looking 900 with a Cummins in it. It's beautiful. Look at the extended cab. A lot of axles. How you doing? Good. What's going on? You cleaning up? What are you using there? I'm just using Windex. Windex? Yep. Windex has uh, ammonia in it. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> what are you hauling this thing? Uh, whole milk. Whole milk? Yep. How many gallons of milk can you haul in this thing? Six thousand gallon tank, so full to the lid, it's fifty-six thousand five hundred pounds of milk. Wow! How many wheels are on the truck? Seven axles, so there's, One, there's still two. eighteen on the short bus. Yeah. You got to put them all down when you're hauling. Um, when I'm fully loaded, yeah. Yeah. As I get to like forty thousand, thirty thousand, I'll right. start dropping individual ones. So you haul in milk. So you go to a farm, I assume, you get the milk. Yep. And where do you haul the milk to? Um, so I haul all my milk to Quick Trip okay. in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Is that their hub? Yeah. Okay. The milk is um, for First District Creamery out of Litchfield. All right. And how do you? How does it load? How does it load? I'm a, I'm a city guy You're from curious? Massachusetts, so I'm from Boston. Tell me all about it. I can show and, you. What's your name again? Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. So yeah, I'd love to see this. Yeah. This isn't. Well, it's clean, obviously, because okay. it's food grade, but... Yeah. So, you come back here, you throw this through the porthole, this goes and hooks to the bottom of the tank to load okay. it, and then usually I have a necklace that turns this... This controls the pump, it's electronic, on and off, and then I can tr control the speed because it's variable. Okay. And then this is the pump that pumps it into the truck, it's a rubber impeller. Alright. So when you throw this through the porthole, plug it into the 220, yeah. turn it on, it pumps through here, goes through the impeller, and then it goes through the bottom, it's directly into the tank. Wow. So then I'm also, because I'm a bulk milk hauler, okay. um, not a direct ship, I'm also responsible for sampling, so I take all the milk samples, okay. and then they go in here on ice. And what do you do with those? Um, at the end of the day, I take them, and they get sent in a cooler with a bunch of ice packs, and yep. get shipped up to get sent by the lab people. Wow. Wow. And how did you get into this business? <laughs> So I grew up on a dairy farm. Okay. I've been around dairy all my life, but I've been driving truck for 10 years. All right. Um, last year I got in a pretty bad end dump accident. That's and what I, I, wanted... pull, I pull end dumps. Yep. Yeah. So I snapped my spine in half and oh severed the base of my spinal cord. So then after I was cleared, yeah. I started doing this because I assume this is a little bit safer, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You get that uh, surge, as they say, right? Yep. Um, food grade tankers don't have any baffles, so it's all wide open. It's okay. a smooth bore. So that means you really got to be careful when you're stopping? Stopping, and obviously you can't just shift to shift. You got to be nice mindful Nice and smooth. You got to be smooth. It is. Yep. It yeah. changes. It's a game changer as far as how you drive. I'm sure. So 10 years you've been driving. Is this a company truck or your truck? This is a company truck, small family owned business out of Plainview. Plainview, oh yeah, I've been there. I used to be, um, I've been a trucker for 30 years, but I started out in Minnesota. I always lived in Boston, but I started out in Minnesota, Lake City. Really? So my, That's where I live. You live in Lake yeah. City? Come on. Yeah, I'm serious. I used to drive for Bud Meyer Truck Lines, which used to be on no Route 61. Kidding. Yeah, in the early 90s, yeah. Like 90, started there in 92. Some of my best friends live in Lake City. And from the Rochester area, it is a small world. I love it there. To me, it's pretty. I get so nostalgic when I go there. Yeah. I used to hang out. The, I used to go to the galley. You know the galley restaurant around the corner, sixty one. It's probably not there anymore. It's right, not there anymore. Right by the bank, the old bank, the bar. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. And the bowling alley. Yep, that's Port One Hundred Four now. Port One Hundred Four. Okay. Yep. Been there. Yes. A little they boy from Massachusetts food. been there, you know. They have really, really good food. Yeah, yeah. We had a, a reunion there a few years ago. We were there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'm talking about myself. This video is about you. But, I'm, <laughs> but anyways, I love Minnesota. The people are the best here. I don't get here that often. But um, last time I was here, I was here at the Shell Super. I'm with the, not I'm with, I'm sponsored by Shell Rotella. Okay, sure. So I do super, the Super Rig shows. So we had one up at Albert Lee a couple years ago. Okay, yep. It's the last time I was here. But anyways, truck. What year is the truck? Pretty sure it's 22. It's fairly new. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to check it out. Can I check it out? Can I open the door? Go for it. Alright. It, it's not like clean clean, but... That's okay. okay. I won't judge. Totally gonna it was judge. working yesterday. Yeah? How you doing? Hold on one second. One second. Alright. Oh, that's nice. 
Same same dashboard as mine. I watch my feet. Oh, that's very nice. I get. I have all the same chrome, but yours is a lot cleaner and less scratched. Uh, I try to go through and clean it once or twice a week. I love those brake knobs. Thanks. Those are really nice. You get the extended cabs. You have a little more room in here. Yeah. That's very nice. Very nice truck. A lot to be proud of. It's a lot of work. How do you hand clean the the tanker? Do you hand clean it? No. So I I wash it at least once or twice every okay. day. But I just use Dawn dish soap and a big long handled brush. Okay. I'll drop the suspension so I can get as high as I can. All right. Go well, for awesome. It. You got nice Cummins in there. Yeah. And how many miles a day are you driving? Like a couple uh, hundred. This truck particularly drives a couple hundred miles. It's That's not. Not bad. It's not a whole lot. It's like early morning. You start out in the morning early. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Like end dump. Early and home early. That's the secret. I'm not home early. No? No. What are you doing? Like 12, 14 hours a day? Um, so this route particularly that I'm on is 8 to 10. Okay. Depends. But there's other guys that I work with. They're putting in some days. 14, right. 18. Right. Right. right, You don't always know when you're done. Right. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. It was really nice to meet you. I'm going to get Thank on the you. camera with you here. Boston Truck with Ashley here at the Big Rig. Big Iron Classic Big Iron in Classic. Cass, Minnesota. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was Thank really you. nice to meet you. Nice All right, you bye.